Well, <clears throat> these are some, some comics that uh, Randy, our photo editor, had in his attic. And whenever I look at a comic book, one of the first things I look at is to see what the cover price is. This one here is 60 cents. And in the 80s or so, that's about, that's about the price for most comics, 60 and 75 cents. It's a first issue special of The Creeper, as you see, and this is The Creeper right here. And this was a set of comics. <clears throat> as you can see, it's, although it's called first issue special, it's actually number seven. And what it is is they were just trying out to see how a certain superhero would sell. Here's a first issue of a Hercules comic, which I'm... Hercules Unbound, which I'm going to check the, the, the year that it was published. To find out the year that they're published, you can typically look at a comic book, sometimes up near where the number is, but also if you go down here into the fine print, often on the first page, you might see that it says it's from October and November of 1975. So again, it's fairly old, but not, not particularly ancient. Might be worth a couple dollars. One of the hard things is when people have a a comic that doesn't have a particularly memorable name, Claw the Unconquered. I've never heard of it, but it might be worth something. And again, this is from 75, so it looks like somebody probably went on a summer trip in 1975 and bought these for a, a, a ride across the country or something. You often hear stories of kids first getting into comics because they went across the country and mom and dad bought them a stack of comic books at the local drugstore to, to keep them busy while they were riding in the car for hours and hours. So it could be, you know, a trip to Myrtle Beach or a trip to Florida or something, but, you know, it, and also, you also hear stories of people getting tons of comics when they're in the hospital to have their tonsils out, and that's how they got into comics in the first place. Comics with uh, superheroes, especially recognizable, like uh, Batman and Aquaman, are often a good investment. And then we've got last bunch here, a Super Friends from the probably early 80s. This is probably based on the TV show, as I see there, Spider-Man and the Black Cat. This is actually a pretty good comic because it's Tor, and Tor is a comic by Joe Kuber, who is right there. He drew himself into his own comic book. Um, Joe Kuber is famous now for running some comic book art schools.